Good evening, guys. I never thought I would be reporting from right here. Many tourists and Chicagoans alike love to come visit the Sky Deck. It has been shut since mid-November, but today it reopened, reopened its doors. Visitors are coming through in certain time slots to keep things socially distanced and moving smoothly, but it is certainly not the only public attraction reopening to the public. Corona, the horrible thing, but we try to live as much as we can. Families were out and about today on North Avenue Beach and getting outside is just about all we could do this time last year. I try to do it every day just so that I feel some sense of normalcy. But summer 2021 is shaping up to be, well, a little more fun. We couldn't go anywhere because of the virus, but um, uh, recently it, it starts reopening, so we are excited about that. Because some of Chicagoland's biggest tourist attractions are back in business business, including the famous Sky Deck. And while the world waited for life to get back to normal, all of this was being built here, including a selfie museum, a children's museum and a few other museums in between. And it was a hard, hard 2020. We are so glad, you know, to just put that behind us, start looking forward and, and opening our doors tomorrow. That's Hank Salemi of Six Flags Great America, where roller coasters will get the green light tomorrow, but things will look different up in Gurnee. There's a lot of different things happening in the park to make sure our guests and our team members are safe. Those include all the things we're used to by now, masks, social distancing and sanitation stations, but there'll be other precautions in place too. We're employing a lot of technology, Bruno, that we never have before such as um, there'll be the um, touchless you know, metal detection at our front gates, touchless bathroom fixtures, mobile ordering um, at all of our restaurants. And if all those twists and turns aren't your thing, there's been a renaissance this week in Schaumburg, with Medieval Times now open as well. It's fun. It's, it's a lot of eating and drinking and uh, frivolity. I mean, it's fun to see the people uh, in their costumes. And uh, in, in about two weeks, I, when I'm uh, fully vaccinated, I will probably start doing a lot of those things again as well. Now, one important thing to note is that if roller coasters are your thing and you want to take the family up to Six Flags, you will need a reservation and you can do that over on their website. We're live at the Sky Deck, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.